Hello, I am Western Kentucky University Athletics Director Todd Stewart. And on behalf of our athletes, coaches, and administration, I would like to recap our successful inaugural season in Conference USA. A year ago, we concluded our tenure in the Sunbelt Conference, one that included 133 total conference championships, and officially entered Conference USA on July 1st. Every year, our expectation is to win championships, graduate our athletes, and have an impact in the community. And because you only have one chance to make a first impression, it was vital that we have a successful season in each of these areas. In 2014-15, WKU became the first school in Conference USA's 20-year history to win eight conference championships and a bowl game in the same season. We had a league-high 56 athletes earn the Commissioner's Medal for Academic Excellence, and we also had a league-high 55 athletes earn Conference USA Player of the Week honors. A total of 104 athletes graduated, and the cumulative average GPA of all 351 athletes is a 3.01. The graduation success rate for all 18 of WKU's programs was 87% in 2014-15, the highest in program history. Additionally, each WKU sport program has a multi-year academic progress rate score of 947 or higher for the first time in program history exceeding by 17 points the NCAA's mandate of 930 required to be eligible for postseason play. Through our Hilltoppers with Heart program, WKU Athletics combined to devote over 2,000 hours of community service in Bowling Green and beyond. We have more than doubled our total hours of community service over the last three years. And Endeavor, our entire department, coaches and athletes takes great pride in. Six sport programs won conference titles for the second straight year, marking the first time since 2008 and 2009 that feat had been accomplished in two consecutive seasons. And WKU was one of only 12 programs in the nation to have its volleyball, women's basketball, and softball teams all earn spots in the NCAA tournament. Our football team won eight games for the second consecutive season behind the strength of the nation's fourth-ranked offense. Quarterback Brandon Dowdy led the nation in touchdown passes and passing yards, and Leon Allen ran for 1,542 yards, making WKU the first team in college football history to have an individual pass for over 4,500 yards and another rush for over 1,500 yards in the same season. WKU's win at undefeated and 19th-ranked Marshall was the program's first ever win over a ranked FBS team. And the Hilltoppers then captured the school's first ever FBS Bowl victory in the inaugural Popeyes Bahamas Bowl. We also will have an all-time high 10 players in NFL training camps this summer. Our volleyball team captured the Conference USA regular season and tournament titles and reached the NCAA tournament for the fourth time in the last five years and the eighth time overall under the direction of head coach Travis Hudson. Heather Boyan was named the Conference USA Tournament's Most Outstanding Player, while Alyssa Cavanaugh was named Conference Freshman of the Year. WKU's 148 total wins over the last five seasons are the second most in the nation behind only Penn State. Despite having a roster in which 18 of the 22 total players were freshmen or sophomores, our soccer team won 10 games for the 12th time in the last 14 seasons and was one of eight teams to qualify for the Conference USA Tournament. Under Ray Harper's direction, men's basketball is one of only two Conference USA schools and one of only 45 schools nationwide to post 20 or more wins in each of the last three seasons. George Fant and TJ Price played their final season on the hill before graduating. Price finished his career as WKU's sixth all-time leading scorer, while Fant ranked eighth in rebounding and 13th in scoring in WKU history. Women's basketball won both the Conference USA regular season and tournament titles and reached the NCAA tournament for the second consecutive season en route to a 30-5 overall record, becoming only the third men's or women's basketball team in school history with a 30-win season. Michelle Hurd was named Conference USA Coach of the Year, 
Chastity Gooch was named league MVP, Alexis Govan was the league's tournament MVP, and Kendall Noble was named the league's defensive player of the year. Cross-country runners Katie Lever and David McConey earned all-conference honors. And WKU's women's outdoor and men's indoor track teams each won Conference USA championships. Nine athletes earned All-American honors, including Chioma Aguanobi, who was also named Conference USA Female Track Athlete of the Year. WKU now has 27 conference titles in the eight years Eric Jenkins has served as head coach. WKU's men's swimming and diving team won the Conference USA Invitational, and Fabian Schwingenschlagel earned All-American honors for the third time after finishing sixth in the nation in the 100-meter breaststroke. Women's golf won two tournaments and had a program record seven top three finishes. And for the first time in program history, two Lady Toppers earned all-conference honors in the same season, junior Eleanor Haig and freshman Georgina Blackman. Men's golf had two individual titles and three second place team finishes and had two golfers finish in the top 25 of the conference tournament for the third time in the last four years. Three Lady Topper tennis players earned all-conference honors as the program posted seven total wins in dual match play and had the most successful conference season in over 15 years. Our baseball team beat a pair of ranked teams on the road, winning at Louisville and Mississippi State, and also swept Kentucky. WKU has now won seven of the last nine games we have played against the Wildcats in baseball. Anderson Miller was drafted by the Kansas City Royals in the third round of the Major League Baseball draft with the 98th overall pick, making him the third highest drafted player in WKU baseball history. Our softball team won the Conference USA regular season and tournament championships en route to setting the school record for highest single season winning percentage, which included NCAA tournament wins over North Carolina and Georgia. Amy Tudor was named Conference USA Coach of the Year, and Miranda Kramer was named the conference's Female Athlete of the Year. Kramer also became the first player in program history to earn first team All-American honors after leading the nation in strikeouts and fewest hits per game, while throwing a school record four no-hitters which also included the first perfect game in program history. We also benefited from unprecedented television exposure. In addition to the 18 games produced by the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network, 102 Conference USA football games and over 100 Conference USA basketball games were broadcast by league television partners, CBS Sports Network and Fox Sports Media Group, with WKU games making up a significant portion of the broadcast schedule. It was indeed a special season in many ways, and our sport programs and staff have much to be proud of. However, if we only maintain, we are falling behind. So we will charge into 2015-16, aiming to raise the bar even higher. We look forward to celebrating many more successes together as we embark on the challenges and opportunities ahead. Thank you for your support of our student athletes, coaches, and programs, and go tops.